Hello, Kent here again. Today I'm making a video on the latest edition of SML German. I made a video on the previous edition by Hilde Schneider and A. Stettler four or so years ago, so I thought it's about high time I did a video on the newest edition. This edition was written by Maria Römer and adapted into English by Kirsten Pfeiffer. This is not just a facelift of an older edition, as SML like to do quite often. This is actually the same course as the French version, L'Allemand, just translated from French to English. And it also uses the same uh, same audio as the French edition as well. It's also a lot bigger than the previous edition, going from 486 pages to now 707 pages. It has 100 lessons, 186 exercises, a dual language glossary, which wasn't in the previous edition, and a grammar summary. On the inside cover, we have the typical SML instructions on how to use the book. I made a video recently on how to use the ASML method, so check it out if you're still not sure or you find the instructions slightly a bit vague. And then we have the contents. As you can see, the lessons have completely changed, which you know I think is a good thing because I found some of the lessons in the Schneider edition just a bit random and um, some just a bit boring. So I think these lessons are a huge improvement on those. The introduction and pronunciation section uh, also larger in this edition, especially the pronunciation section. It was barely one page in the previous edition, so they've definitely improved on that. Not that it was too hard. Um, they've also included a table, which is um, quite nice to have. For those of you not familiar with ASML, this is what a typical lesson looks like. It follows a kind of parallel text layout with a target language on the left and English or the language you're using to learn the target language on the right followed by some notes that explain various points in the dialogues in greater detail. On the next page, we have some basic translation and fill-in-the-blank exercises. These are nothing too strenuous. If you're after more of a challenge exercise-wise, you're better off buying an exercise book or something like that to test yourself. Every seventh lesson, we have a grammar revision lesson, and this usually goes into grammar that has been introduced in the previous six lessons or so. Some of them include, uh, you know, another review exercise, which is quite cool. Also in the book, you'll find various cultural notes. Here we have a bit about coffee and some information about Brandenburg Gate. Some of them are quite interesting. Now I'm going to play a small sample of the audio from lessons 1 and 100. This is to give you an idea of the speed with which the dialogues start out and the natural speed they reach towards the end of the book. Erste Lektion. Viel Glück. Guten Tag. Heute ist ein großer Tag. Warum? Sie lernen Deutsch. Hundertste Lektion. Als letzte Lektion erzählen wir Ihnen eine wahre Geschichte. Ende gut. Alles gut. Hallo Anne. Seit mehr als zwei Jahren haben wir nichts voneinander gehört. Hoffentlich hat sich deine E-Mail-Adresse inzwischen nicht geändert. Wie geht es dir und deinem Mann? Lebt ihr immer noch in der Stadt mit dem höchsten Kirchturm der Welt? So I hope that gives you an idea of the speed that the dialogues eventually reach. Like I said earlier, they start off quite slowly and then they speed up as you go along. You can listen to lessons 1, 50 and 100 on SML SoundCloud. I'll pop the link in the description so you can check them out if you want. Next up you have the grammatical appendix, which can be useful if you want to look up certain grammar points or look at some grammar tables or something like that. I'm just going to skim through these though, but very useful to have. And then we have a little bit about the authors. One random thing I noticed going through this and the previous edition was that Hilde Schneider and Maria Römer look exactly like the same person. I mean, they do, right? Maybe they're twins or she changed her name or perhaps it's just a mistake, I'm not sure. So there we have it, Asimil German. I definitely think this is an improvement over the previous edition. So if you're looking at learning German and you like this kind of approach to learning foreign languages, I would definitely recommend this book. Unfortunately, ASML haven't released an advanced German uh, course in English, but if you understand French, you can use this book. Thanks for watching. If you want to read my review, you can click the link down below. Cheers.